What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Pixel Privateers. This is a game that I've been waiting around for for a while, actually. Been following it for about a year now, trying to get a hold of the game, or at least, like, check it out, and I finally got my copy. It came out on Steam today, so you're going to be able to check it on out for yourselves as well. As far as what the game's got going on, I don't know. It seems like a loot-scooping adventure through space. And you know me, I love loot, so uh, let's get down with this thing. Let's do it. New game here. What is the name of your crew? I shall call them... The Nasty Crew. Through numerous exploration missions and never leaving a man behind. Okay. How did you become the commander of a company ship? Being the sole survivor on a suicide mission, the rank was awarded for extraordinary... And we're just going to a normal difficulty. Uh, yeah, we could play the tutorial. That's perfectly fine. Figure out how the game's functioning so that you... My most noble of viewers can also understand how the game works, so you can be like, Oh, I like that. Oh, I don't like that. Greetings, recruits. My name is Nub, and I will be your assigned company officer. Click the text box or hit backspace if you can hear me. So, uh... Why are you a flying rabbit? Yeah, just another day at the company. I actually chose this form, unlike many others. So, I'm ready for the training? Great. I'll also handle most of the communication to you through the wormhole, so we'll probably be seeing each other a lot in the future. Let's get started. Left click to select privateers, right click to move, attack, and interact. Move over to that minefield sign over there. It should be totally safe. I don't feel good about that. Come on, gents, let's go. That dude's got a massive firearm. I kind of like that. You made it. You can move the camera around by pressing WAST. Okay, there it is. Move to the other minefield sign. Nothing bad will happen, I promise. Yeah, sooner or later, my luck's going to run out with these promises. It always does. Awesome. Right-click to interact with the door button. Interaction. There it is. Interactive objects you encounter will work the same way. You just right-click them. Let's continue to the next room. Sorry, I'm going to paraphrase and breeze my way through because this is all fairly standard stuff. We have received reports confirming a zombie presence in other galaxies, and I'm not even kidding. We've had some leftover trainee parts, so we put those into a cloning tank to create a zombie for you. What are you waiting for? Attack it. Yeah, beat that thing down. Get it. Hey, the zombie dropped something. Let's investigate. So it dropped a zombie skull. To view the names of items, press left out. To take an item with you, click the item's name tag. Your ship's computer will beam it up for you. You will later find the transported items in your ship's cargo. Let's get that next door open, huh? Okay. We can press Q to select all of our privateers. Two pressure plates, one privateer each. Okay, so we'll put you right there. We'll put you right there. I like his little waddle walk because his LMG is so large. Let's go to the next room. All right, we'll take all of you guys. I'm going to rubber band box because I'm old school like that. I'm from back in those red alert days. Ah, you'd be surprised how difficult that room is with recruits who levitate. And what was that sound? Oh no, it's a cosmic zombie. Quick, kill it before it devours the warp core. Okay. Ow, he wasn't meant to be that powerful. Whenever one of the privateers is in trouble, helpful abilities and consumables appear on top of them. Click them to help out. Oh, cool. That's very, very nice. Good, now you just can get rid of the blue guy. We don't need him anymore. Yeah, beat that fool down. The combat kind of reminds me of pixel piracy. That's sort of like the same feeling. Your privateers have successfully demonstrated they can move around and not die. They have been rewarded the rank Dingleberry. Let's celebrate opening that big storage container over there and get them something nice to equip. See, my cat broke some shit last night. I gave him the rank of Dingleberry, too. So, see? Pretty dope. We're all on the same page here. Give me my treasure. So, we've got disposable bio scanners, a sniper rifle, a beret. We've got a cap. Okay. Cool, so now we can bust mad caps at people if we really want to. Can I look at my gear right now? Ooh, I can look at my gear. So do I have, like, a way that I can look at all of my... Or does the nasty crew, can we not look at them until we're, like, back on the ship, maybe? It looks like it was in ship storage, so we probably want to wait till we beam out of here. That's how I teleport. Welcome to your ship. This is where your privateers will hang out when they're not on away missions. Once you're done with the R&R, &R, access the ship's control interface from the teleport button. Okay, so we've got our own little Tatooine bar inside of here. We absolutely are pirates. This is pretty awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. It's like Alvin and the Chipmunks play on my ship, except it's like the ACDC version of Alvin and the Chipmunks. 
<laughs> it's like the Motorhead version of Alvin and the Chipmunks. All right, welcome to the ship's management screen. I've temporarily disabled most of the controls because it might be a bit overwhelming otherwise. This part of the interface is the galaxy map. It displays the surrounding space. Makes you feel kind of small, don't it? You can travel to empty grid points by double-clicking on them. Moving the ship uses a fuel. Fuel reserves and other resources are shown at the bottom. You can select locations by left-clicking, interactions by beaming down. Okay. Basic training. If you feel like you're going to start exploring, take the ship through the wormhole. Otherwise, transport your crew down to that planet. We'll go over other advanced topics. Let's do advanced topics. Let's do that. Map data is not available. Wah, 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 wah. So I can choose my team. We've got Doror Fonfial or Janar Alaripki. So there's my landing party. The bigger your landing party is, the more matter it costs you to transport them. If you don't have the required matter, you can't use the transporter. I don't want to start the mission, though. I want to go through and I want to give them new gear because we picked up stuff. We picked up things. How do I... How do I give them their new stuff so that they can shoot fools better? Because I sense that there will be many fools upon this surface. Smoolalam! Welcome to the surface, Captain. Let's begin our next training session. Let's warm up for a bit. Hold down left ship to run when you're outside of combat. Okay, you can also do auto run. Sprint to the minefield sign. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That didn't go as planned. Who leaves an active minefield on a training course? Alright, so there's no need to panic. This is the future, after all. Ship's computer keeps track of all the enlisted privateers. If an employee dies, we can just clone a replacement from their DNA samples and transport them right back. Good as new. Let's do that. Use the portraits at the top left to revive your privateer. Ooh. Should be back in, like, three seconds. See? Good as new. You can only use the technique outside of combat in the event that your privateers happen to kick the bucket. You need to go back to the ship and revive them. Cloning them eats up the private's matter reserves, though, so make sure you always have some extra. All right, so let's go the other way. That minefield is a health hazard. I see some of our research staff over there, so let's go see what they're up to. Grab all of my dudes here. Researchers, what's going on? Hello there, privateers. We found this shipwreck recently and have been investigating it ever since. Schnib pulled out this strange warp capacitor from the wreckage. If you take it to the ship and do a preliminary scan on it, we'll let you publish the results, too. Okay. Huh, I wonder what kind of device this actually is. Good thing there's a research lab on board the ship. Oh, cool, so we get to, like, get the hell on out of here now. Oh, no, there's more dudes over there. Hold on, I want to go back down to the planet. Take me down to the planet. Ah, oh, man, item research. So we got item research over here. When you get unidentified items or research artifacts, they appear here. Common items that do not require identifying go straight to the crew inventory. So we've got a hat. Oh my good sweet Jeebus. Alien artifacts are automatically start being researched when you find them. Unidentified items need to be clicked to start the identifying process. It takes research points. Okay. Here you can see any artifacts currently being researched. Once the artifact has been thoroughly researched, it will be archived for later. Okay, so we've got the warp core right there, and it's also doing the hat, I guess. So now we've got a dope-ass hat. What else could you ever want? The archive stores all the research data which we have accumulated so far, as well as being recorded here. The artifacts will be automatically converted into matter. Let's return to the surface where we met the researchers after the research was completed. Well, hold on. Work on my sniper rifle first. I would much rather have the sniper rifle. That shit sounds awesome. So I can be like, pakow, 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 and take fools out, and then I can, like, cannibalize them or whatever it is that my privateers do. Eat their faces off. Done. All right, so we have archived items now. No mixing a substance insulator. No wonder they are tasty. And then that has a empty inside used to contain a soul. It's an exceptional alien item. Okay, I guess I'll go back to the planet. Back to the planet, down to the street. Oh, you can actually tailor the difficulty, too. That's pretty cool to make the, uh... No, I don't want it to... That's hard. No, don't do that. Make it concerning. That sounds good. I want to be concerned, but I don't want to be alarmed. Hello there again. Thank you for helping us with the capacitor. I'm sure you can find some use for it later. Whoa, your crew just sparked like vampires. That means they grew more experienced. Once you go back to the ship, they may train to get more powerful. Before we do that, let's go to the research camp nearby to see if they need help. All right, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen, jeez. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies over there. Hey, guys. Aloha, privateers. Travel through the wormhole yet? 
Nah, I bet you will soon, though. I heard the stability of the wormhole has been exceptional recently. Let's hope it remains as such. Hey, listen, I got more than enough samples from that wreckage there, but I lack equipment. Could you replicate me some extra quantum field spectrometers? Here's one for you to act as a template. I guess. All right, let's go back to the ship and check out the item replicator. Well, hold on, because there's stuff happening over here. I don't want to go back to the ship. I want to do battle. Like, there's a bunch of zombies over here. I want to kill those. I want to stab them in the face until they give me fun stuff. Universal profanophone. Taunt all nearby enemies, causing them to aggro. Kinetic shield. Do they have different stuff on each of them? Or is that just things that, like, I can help them out with as their lord and savior? I think it's going to make me go back to the ship. I don't have a choice. I feel a little railroaded. Remember to take breaks and spend time with the important people in your life. Hell no. Replicator uses the selected items of the template and produces a new copy. This procedure uses matters and the process can sometimes fail. Since transporting characters to the surface also uses it, you should be aware of your matter resources at all time. Alright, so replicate three copies of the spectrometer we retrieve from the researcher. Is that it right there? Alright, replicate it. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, we ran out of matter, but I wonder what we should do now. I know. Let's call Kent. He knows all about scrap and matter. He's also a very nice person. Whenever you have problems like this, broadcast a distress signal and hope the right person picks it up first. Let's go to the galaxy screen and see if the distress signal is broadcasting. System active. Alright, so galaxy map. Distress signals are a way for you to get some help if you're stuck on your journey for some reason. Beware, though. Broadcasting the signal will render your ship's cloaking system useless, so you might invite some unwanted guests. Activate the distress signal broadcaster by clicking the distress button. Okay. I am distressed. Dis distress, dat distress, those distresses. I'm teaching you all how to speak English right now. See, that's your English lesson with Splattercat for today. Rusty old cargo ship, which looks like it was welded together from car parts. This is docked by your ship. You hear a voice from the comlink yelling, Need meat with those potatoes? Or those potatoes? Alright, well I guess I'll take these two guys and we will go. Sup, bro? Hey, y'all, I heard on the distress signal y'all in need of some matter. Don't worry, this one's on the house. So how do we get it? Take these matter crates here. No one can tell you how to put these bad boys to use. I'll be heading over to the wormhole right about now, and I'll see you on the other side. I guess I've got some matter crates now, and we're back in here being entertained by our crew. Oh, can I no longer get back over here? He teleported onto my ship? That seems really markedly unsafe. Alright, so the matter crates you received from Kent are now in the ship's inventory. They can be found in the crew window. Let's go see what we can do there. So, crew window. Ah, see, now we get to equip some fools. You can manage characters, their equipment. Okay. Crew on the left. Alright. Each time I level up, they get two or three training points, which you can spend on the training tab of the character. Select a character and click the training tab. So, let's go with you. And then training tab. Yeah, buddy. So, we've got strength. It does melee damage. She does have a sword and board, so that might be a decent thing to have. It gives you a main hand hit rating on there. Speed is your movement speed and your main hand attack rate. Stamina is your health points. Intelligence is your main hand's chance to crit. Okay. Well, then I'll probably just go for... I like accuracy. I'll be fair. I like being able to hit stuff. And now that that's been added, can I put new gear on him? Apparently, I can change the class of my character, too. So let's train him up real fast. I want him... He's got a big-ass gun, doesn't he? But his strength is pretty good, and his intelligence is really, really good, too. So he's going to have drone and turret damage, would be the guess. He shoots really fast. Let's just put it all into uh, his aim, so that when we swap this in, Medic heals wounds, provides buffs, and removes... Ah, so that's his class. Okay, I got you. Vanguard, a sturdy fighter who can take a beating and protect others from damage. Generates 30% more aggro than other classes. Oh, cool. So I'm going to take this hat right here, which gives critical damage and block chance. I'm going to put it... Oh, look! It shows up on there. And then we've also got light company armor. 35 armor on that one. 40 armor on that one with a dodge bonus. We also have a common bio scanner. We've got the asbestos cap of curiosity. Fire resistance up. We've got an exciting short sword. So that's better than what she's got right now, I think. 
Oh, no, never mind. I had it backwards. And then that's a kinetic shield. Do we have anything better than that kinetic shield? Or do we just have like a bunch of other stuff that's not currently getting used? Oh, there's a company helmet right there. Well, maybe you should wear the helmet. Yeah. Dope as shit. So we've got MVP fives. He's got himself a rigged galactical precision finesse bullet weapon rifle thing. Shots per second, so he fires once per second. What if... So that's a medic tool. What if we give this dude an MP5? Yeah. And then we slap a hat on him. And then he's got himself 115 armor on that attack plate. We can get 120 on that one right there, though. Seventy on that one. Holy shit. Okay, well you wear that then. And then you, you've got the hundred and fifteen armor. I don't know. Put that on because it looks sick. And then we'll give that to her. Cool. Looking sexy. Alright, so we got guns and shit now. We should be good to go. I just wanted to use automatic weaponry. That's all that I ever wanted to do. In the abilities tab, it told me to go to the class tab next. Where is that at? So what if I go back down to the surface right now? What happens then? Hey, you returned. You managed to replicate the spectrometers? Nope, not yet. I'll be back soon. Damn. I'm terrible at my job. Let's go get those spectrometers. I think I need a third one or something like that. So for the replicator... In order to do that, I had to find these matter crates, I think. Let's right-click to inject the matter into the ship's reserves. Yes, inject some matter into the reserves. Oh, very, very nice. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We've got our class right there. That's all good to go. And as far as the replicator goes, we should have enough now to smash out another one of these. So there it is. Woohoo! The researchers will be really happy to gain access to these babies. Let's transport back to the surface and deliver them and see if they need anything else. Aren't we supposed to be pirates, dude? Why are we taking delivery orders like we work at Domino's or something? We're supposed to be pirates, son. Let's go jack this fool. We got an MP5. We just walk up and go, brah da dow and just take whatever he has because we're privateers. We're space pirates. This is how we ride. Hey, you returned. Did you manage to replicate the spectrometers? Yep, we'll beam them down. That's tremendous. Thank you so much for doing this. Can I fight with zombies now? Nice. Let's hope those new findings help us discover new technologies. When you're ready, we'll transport back up to the ship. We still got one more place to visit there. The science lab. There's still some more disturbing sounds coming from the forest ahead. You might want to investigate what's going on. I'm pretty sure I already know what's going on. Looks a little stacked with zombies over here right now. Yeah, fight your way through. Whoop these dudes. Don't let them tell you what four or what five or what three. Get them. Yeah, free zombie skull. Give me your shit. That's right, I'm up in here like the predator, just like... Taking your shit. Rolling out. There you go. Taunt these dudes. Let them come. We've got an internal organ. Don't know what organ it is, but I guess we've got an internal organ. Why he was storing an organ inside of himself, I'm not really sure. Musician maybe about to go to prison? Who knows? Gotta get over here. Brains! So these are classic zombies. These are the ones that want your brains. I got you. No, save him. He is our shooter. He's the one who clutches the heat, son. You got to protect him. Is there anything else going on in this forest, or is that pretty much it? We can't go any further? All right. Teleport back up. I'm never going to turn down free XP if I've got an option. Sometimes you got to get some freebies in there. All right. The reason why the company is sending all these privateers to other galaxies is to get new technology and sell it. The researcher gave us research points. These points represent available opportunities to gain new insight on new technologies. You already have used the points to identify strange items, but there are other uses as well. Click the Science tab. All right, so this is the Science Lab. Technologies here are divided into tiers and clusters. Hover the cursor over the technologies to learn their benefits and requirements. All right, so we would have hardened skin, so our vanguards would get stronger. These are for the different classes. For happy pills, medics can prescribe other crew members' pills, which heal the crew member when he gets damaged. The effect can only happen three times. So if I wanted to learn that, it would cost me 100 RP, and right now I have, like, 6,000. What does that do? Happy pills now raise stamina by 20? Oh, good lord. 
Okay, we've also got Isochronus Momentum Persister. I'm going to go with Hardened Skin. We've got Shield Momentum a customization. Yeah, make my Vanguard block better. That sounds good. And the Vanguards with Kinetic Shields can charge towards enemies attacking friendly crew members, taunt it, and stun it. Universal Profanophones AoE increases. Ooh, yeah. Make the taunt a little bit better. Oh, wow, that gets expensive with a quickness, doesn't it? Okay. So I do that one right there. Confirm. Now that's why we do this. Awesome. All right. When I think your training is now complete, when ready, use the galaxy map machine to go through the wormhole or begin your assignment. Cool. So we'll go to the galaxy map. We already did our Smooleon, whatever thing we did over here, Smoolala or whatever the hell that place is called. Let's use the wormhole and we'll start playing the game for realsies right now. Although I think it was good that we did like the training thing. It's easy to mess up. Who was your father? He was a famous space pirate called Renald Courage. No extra, or 10 extra level 1 through 5 weapons. Hork the Flatulent. I think this was made by the uh, Pixel Privateers developers. He was a space hoarder called Lucippus Democritus. He was a famous alien researcher called Adonis Randomer. Or he was not present in my life. Unimag Turbos, 5 Temporal Skip Jets, and a training dummy. I'm going to go with the famous alien researcher. Who was the company's CEO? Tick Masala, wealthy, so we get more research points per second. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, who gives us a uh, global hit chance, which is pretty good. Roger Gunn, a mercenary captain who really knows how to sail subspace. 25% decreased chance of ship invasion events. Shady Snarky, a famous black market broker. Three times more likely to get rare loot on the black market. Four training codex is worth eight training points for a crew member. Probably go with the plus five global hit chance. Five hit chance is nothing to screw around with considering our hit chance was like 30%. What does your first toy spaceship look like? Four ship turrets and four ship traps. Toy bus with a cardboard wings glue on it. Extra squad member. Extra research inventory space. A lunchbox. Your mom's house. <laughs> I guess I'll go with your mom's house because why not? Oh my god, the galaxy is so big and terrifying and extending out before us. Hello, can you read me? Please respond. What a relief. You see, I lost your ship on the subspace radars for quite some time. You probably didn't notice something strange, but the wormhole isn't acting quite like it should. We will not be able to send you any backup until the wormhole is somehow destabilized. We'll only be able to communicate with you and send small care packages, but anything larger than that will just disintegrate. We pinpointed the source of the destabilizing effect on a nearby destroyed planetoid field. I marked it with an exclamation point. You should investigate the area and report any anomalies you might find. You may also be able to request more missions from the company's mission control by clicking the Request Missions button on the bottom left corner of the galaxy map screen. Good luck. Okay, sounds good to me. So we've got a wrecked up planet over here, biomes, all kinds of stuff. Who's our crew right now? Oh, they let us keep the ones from the tutorial. That was kind of them. Very good. So why can't I use these now? We can't carry two-handed weapons with big tools, but he'll be able to, right? Yeah. This dude's good at playing with big tools. We've got a market station right there. It takes 6.1 fuel to get over there. Let's go to the desolated planet, I guess. That's what it told us to do, so we might as well take a cue from that. How many research points do I have? Okay, so I kept that. Item research. We're sitting on about 4,000 points at the moment. Inside of here, we've got some extra matter just sitting around in our cloning lab. All right. What is that? Replication process. Chance to succeed, 8.5 kilograms in order to make another one. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of random like guns and things inside of here. That's a big hammer. What does that hammer do other than smacking people in the dome? It's got to do something sick, right? Well, we can afford to take this up a little further. Channeled aggression. When medics shoot, they have a chance to heal nearby crew members. The chance depends on weapon speed. Yeah, get that one. That sounds good. We don't even have any of the other crew members, so why worry about it? We'll go down to our ship and we'll have a look here to see what's going on. Division 64, so we do have extra rooms. Our ship is actually quite a bit larger. A little bulbous thing going on. Apparently we're scanning someone. Just because if you've got scanners available, why not? Just intrude upon somebody else's privacy, sure. It's part of being a pirate, it's what we do. I really, really like the fact that they sing in little Alvin the Chipmunk voices. Not going to lie to you. And with that, we will stop the episode right here. My name is Splattercat. This is Pixel Privateers. Hopefully so far you've liked the game. I will see you all next time we play it, which will probably be tomorrow. We've got a rough idea for how the game functions for right now, but I bet we'll get more 
enamored and deeper inside this BZ very, very soon. Uh, if you like what I do here on the channel, check out the Patreon. Otherwise, get the game for yourself down below. It's out on Steam right now. I think it's for like $12.50 or $12.75 or something like that. All right? Hi to everybody.